Of all the immune system soldiers, natural killer cells are the most aggressive. They are lymphocytes with no immunological memory and are part of your innate immune system. Natural killer cells make up about 5 to 15 percent of the total circulating lymphocyte population. Natural killer cells are called natural killers because they do not need to recognize a specific antigen before releasing their toxins and destroying a viral infected cell or cancer cell. They target tumor cells and protect against a wide variety of infectious microbes. In several immunodeficiency diseases, including AIDS, natural killer cell function is abnormal, thus allowing the viruses to multiply inside of human cells. Natural killer cells kill on contact and are part of our God-given defense against cancer and viral infected cells. The killer cell binds to its target, aims its weapons, and then delivers a lethal burst of toxins that produces holes in the target cell's membrane and creates events that destroy the cancer cell membrane and cleaves DNA into many pieces in a programmed cell death, that is, apoptosis manner. After releasing its lethal package of chemicals, the natural killer cell can detach from the cancer cell and kill many other circulating abnormal cells. Indeed, research has shown that most of the tumor cells that enter the circulation are destroyed during the first 24 hours, and only a few cells succeed in establishing themselves in distant organs from the primary tumor, which is called metastasis. Natural killer cells do not kill indiscriminately. They look for a banner flown by normal cells. If the natural killer cell sees this banner, it receives a signal to spare that cell. This signal overrides the natural killer cell's urge to kill. If this banner is absent on the target cell, the natural killer cell proceeds with its attack. It attaches to the target and releases a lethal burst of chemicals that destroys the target cell. Natural killer cells may also contribute to immunoregulation by secreting high levels of influential lymphokines. Therefore, research to develop natural products to stimulate the natural killer cell activity, especially in immune-suppressed patients undergoing chemotherapy for cancer or in any viral disease, such as AIDS or bird flu, where immune suppression occurs, is very important in the regulation of aspects of the immune system which affects our overall health. If natural killer cells are to defend the body against viruses, other pathogens, and cancer cells, they must be able to distinguish between normal and the pathogen infected or cancer cells. Exactly how this is achieved has not been established, but a recognition of altered self is thought to be the mechanism. Now let's look at how self and non-self recognition is accomplished by the natural killer cell. There are basically two types of receptors on the natural killer cell surface. One which activates the natural killer cell to kill the cell to which it is attached, and the other receptor which inhibits this activation to kill the attached cell. So the natural killer cells are continually bumping into self and non-self cells in deciding whether to initiate the killing process on a cell-by-cell -cell basis. The receptors on the natural killer cell surface that regulate the recognition phase consist of two types. One is composed of the receptors that are homologous to the C-type lectins and is called the natural killer receptor complex. The other is composed of immunoglobulin-like domains called killer cell immunoglobulin-like receptors also known as KIRs. These are shown on the natural killer cell surface as the forms KIR3D and KIR2D. However, the predominant control of the natural killer cell activation occurs through the C-type lectin receptor CD94-NKG2 heterodimer. One complication in understanding the natural killer cell activity is that the same structural families, that is the CD94-NKG2 natural killer receptors, contain both activating and inhibitory receptors. The NKG2 proteins differ for the inhibitory NKG2A and NKG2B, 
and the activation NKG2C and NKG2D protein structures of the CD94-NKG2 complex. Signaling by the inhibitory natural killer cell receptors suppresses the killing activity of the natural killer cells. The receptor for the target cell is the major histocompatibility complex 1, also known as MHC1. Natural killer cells will not kill healthy, genetically identical cells with normal expression of MHC1 as seen in other normal cells of the body. Therefore, the binding of the inhibitory natural killer cell receptor to normal MHC1 sends a negative signal to inhibit signals from the activation natural killer cell receptors, which are bound to the target cell activating ligand. However, if the MHC1 is 1. not dense enough on the target cell, or 2. if the target cell has processed antigen and displayed it in the pocket of the MHC1 illustrated here by the shaded red-yellow ball, or 3. if the conformation of the MHC1 proteins have been sufficiently altered, noted here by the stripped MHC1 proteins, then the binding of the altered MHC1 to the inhibitory natural killer cell receptor will send a positive to the activation natural killer cell receptor complexed to the target cell activating ligand. It is this positive signal that initiates the remarkable cytotoxic machinery of the natural killer cells. When the target cell, either a viral infected cell or cancer cell, displays an abnormal MHC1 and is targeted as non-self, the destruction begins. There are basically two types of destruction that take place. One is the release of cytotoxic molecules, such as tumor necrosis factor, also known as TNF, that are released from natural killer cell granule membranes that cause destruction of the cancer cell surface membranes. Another mechanism involves programmed cell death, termed apoptosis, that results in the destruction of the nuclear DNA of the cancer cell. Natural killer cells contain membrane vesicles called cytotoxic granules that package the enzymes that kill the cancer cells. The most important enzymes involved in the apoptosis event of cancer cell death are the pore-forming protein called perforin and a set of proteases called granzymes. The activation of the natural killer cells causes the release of these vesicles from within the natural killer cells in which the contents are delivered directly into the surface of the target cell. The perforin proteins penetrate the cancer cell and create a cylindrical polyperforin pore through which the granzymes pass into the cytoplasm of the cancer cells. The process of cancer cell death initiated by the granzymes uses part of the same basic machinery that gives rise to programmed cell death, or apoptosis. In this application, one granzyme, granzyme B, activates a caspase, which then cleaves I-CAD, the inhibitor of caspase-activated DNAase. The active DNAase having its inhibitor I-CAD inactivated is now free to migrate into the nucleus and degrade the DNA. At this point, the cancer cell is destined for death and the natural killer cell can migrate onwards to a new target cell. Clearly, there is much to learn about the innate immunity of the natural killer cell. The pioneering work in the discovery of these cells by Drs. Heberman, Thornthwaite, and Oldham have initiated our understanding of these remarkable cells. The ability to distinguish self from non-self and the destructive power to kill a cell larger than itself along with the ability to kill many other viral infected or cancer cells, give the natural killer cell a very important place in our first line of defense against the environmental and microbial assaults on our bodies. Finally, we come back to the beginning of our knowledge of the natural killer cell. Here lies a natural killer cell in a lawn of sheep red blood cells. These cells are perfect targets for the natural killer cell 
possessing no MHC1 receptor. The wrath of natural killer cell is fully vented on the surrounding sheep red blood cells. The cytotoxins completely destroy the sheep red blood cells, leaving clear plaques around the natural killer cell. There is no apoptosis event, just direct cytotoxicity. The natural killer cell is one of the key soldiers in the fight against viral and cancer growth. Truly, we are fearfully and wonderfully made.